I don't know why I'm smiling today. So, because <laughs> I have some interesting news. Uh, and I knew this a while ago, but we're going to talk about it today. So, I have always been using a program for probably the last few years called Celtex. And in my courses, I totally tell people, go use it. It's awesome. It's not just the screenwriting software that used to be free, but it's also all these production tools. Ah, it's not free anymore. And that bums me out so much, and especially for my students. So they make people pay based on what production tools they are using. So coming up, and I'm not sure when, I'm going to show you some of my workarounds, and we will not be using Celtex anymore. Um, or you can, and I, I think for right now I'm going to leave it so that, you know, go explore it. But I uh, can't recommend it, and um, I'm going to also just have a caveat here about Final Draft. I have Final Draft from a long, 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 long time ago. And I don't particularly need any updates, but they are saying either get the update or don't get it at all, don't have Final Draft. So I'm a little bit grr about that too, because I bought it, I don't need an update, I like the version I have, and they are kind of forcing the update on me, saying like, and I have the disc, and they're just like, we're not, um, I'm sorry, you can't use that. Okay, so... I am in the process of researching the best software for you. In the meantime, here's a little awesome thing that I found. If you go into Google, um, your Google Docs, if you have a Google Drive account and everything, you can go to Google Docs and there is, and I'll, I'll look for the link and if I can find it, I'll put it below because I was kind of tinkering with it the other day. You can find screenwriting software formatting software in Google Docs. There's like little extensions you can get and one of them is screenwriting software. So um, meh on Celtex, meh on Final Draft. There are a few other options but I don't want to recommend them yet um, before I explore them a bit more and I think they're paid also. So I am in the midst of this just saying here's something, a workaround if you really don't want to spend any money and um, Celtex is still good. I would not, I'm not anti. I'm just saying for people who bought my course especially or who really are low, 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 low bu budget and are trying to put their resources towards something else, I don't want them having to buy a software that maybe they're going to use, you know, once in a while and then it ends up being, um, you know, something that they have to either continue buying. This whole final draft thing actually bums me out because I have a script that I needed to open in a final draft format and I did write it maybe 10 years ago and the new the new software won't open it and I can't get the old software. And thank God I still have a computer from like 10 years ago that will open it. But really, what the heck? You know, I mean, it, they're just not letting me access. So that's, uh, or no, the, the new software will open it, but I have to repurchase the whole thing again and I only want to open this up so that I can make a PDF out of it. So I found a workaround for that too. But um, that's whole other story but I just want to let you know Celtex is not free anymore. Blah. So anyway that's it for today. Take care and I will talk to you soon.